Hey everyone, this is Android Cemetery, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the array modifier to rotate objects around a central axis. Okay, so right now I've got my model, and I want to create a radial array, so that way this bolt can go all the way along around this gear. So first, I'm going to click the bolt, add modifier, and create array. And because I'm going to rotate around this object, I want to make sure that my 3D cursor is in the middle of this object. Go into edit mode, Go into face mode with three, alt click, make sure it's in the middle, shift S, and then cursor to selected. Then we're gonna select this object, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, and make sure the origin's in the middle of this object. The other thing that I wanna add is an empty object. So shift A, go to empty, plane axis, and make sure that the plane axis and the origin for this object are both in the same place. Then I wanna click on my bolts, I'm going to add a few more to this array. I'm going to add maybe 34 more. I'm also going to turn off relative offset because I want this object rotating around an object offset. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn on object offset. Click the down arrow. And with the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select this empty object. Now all I have to do is select this empty, press R to rotate, and rotate it on the Z axis. I can also select the object, add more or less depending on what I want. And then if I want to modify this further, I can just select the empty object, press R, rotate on Z, and then modify it further. We can also type in a specific number when rotating in the Z axis. So for example, if I go back to the modifier, change this to six, and then select my empty object. And then in rotation Z, I want to type in 60 degrees. You can see that the bolts are now rotating perfectly around this empty object. So if I was to get a calculator and punch in 360, divide by 6, then we get our result 60. Then we know we can rotate this empty by 60 degrees. So say if we want to do 360 divide 12 is 30. So if we go back to the bolts, type in 12, and then go back to the empty and rotate by 30, you can see we get a perfect rotation. You can also further modify this array. If you select this object, go into edit mode, press A to select this entire instance, press G and X to move it in the X axis. And as long as this origin point is in the center, this array can be moved in any direction. Okay, so I hope you found that video helpful and I'll see you guys next time.